to Body Language Course Part 2. And now here we're going to talk about the main and the most important mindset that you need to have in order to have a good body language. And this mindset will automatically remove the most unnecessary body language that you have and makes you 80%, up to 80% better in the body language. So what is this important mindset? This important mindset is wherever you are, when you're walking outside, whether you're in grocery store, whether you're in school, whether you're walking the streets, have the mindset of being in combat mode. And hold on, think about it. Wherever you go, whatever that prevents you from being in a combat mode, being in whatever that makes you look weak, don't do that. And whatever makes you be free and have your hands free, uh, allows you to be able to act quickly, do that. For example, for example, when you're walking the street, having your hands on your pockets like this, like this, this is your hands on your pocket. This is preventing you from having free hands. And this is, look, when you're having your hands in your pocket, it automatically makes you look like this. This is showing you as a weak person because you have your hands in your pocket, you can't have them free, and this is ruining your body language. Have your hands free at all times. When you're walking, always walk straight, hands free, like this. This is very important mindset. Be in constant combat mode. Not because you want to enter combat, not because you want to go to physical combat, not because of that, because it shows that you have everything taken care of, that you are not an easy target. Imagine you're walking at night at 12 a.m., not 12 a.m., let's say 3 a.m., and you you had to be in that position. You, you had a meeting somewhere or you were in a party, and you're walking in the streets, and it's 3 a.m. If you are having your headphones on, walking in the street at 3 a.m., you're your hands are in your pocket and you know your back is like this you are putting yourself in danger if some if if you're like if a four a group of four people see you there they say this is absolutely easy target they can easily attack you and they can easily come to you and do whatever they want to you but if you're walking straight if you're walking strong your hands are free you are walking tall and strong, you, you look back, you, you, have, you know what's going on around you, this makes it much harder for them. You don't want to enter physical combat, you prevent physical combat by being in combat mode. Hands free, walking straight, walking strong. This mindset will automatically prevent you from making mistakes for 80% of the times. And this is good enough for you to be to, to have a better body language than 85% of the people in the world. Easily. Easily. So have this in mind. I'm going to summarize. Always have the mindset of being in combat mode. Have your hands free. Be aware of your, your environment. Be aware of what's going on. Always walk straight. And this concludes part two of the body language course. And the next part, in part three, we will talk about the most common mistakes that people make when, when people make that, that ruins their body language.